What is it really like for men and women to be a part of the Dustin Tribe community? And what does that community feel like in the wilderness of the Sonoran Desert? This is DNT Grind. Um, you know, I was pushing myself to the max. There are parts of the trip that I was uncomfortable, but that comes with the grind experience, right? You know, sleeping when you're cold at night, things like that, versus like that last plow to get to the saddle where I was like, wow, am I really going to make this or not? During the time I thought that was a, a tough trip, I enjoyed the hardship of it because it just made me think of all of the things that we enjoy on a regular basis and don't acknowledge the water, the shelter, the, you know, the comforts, things like that. I, I know that we, we say, alhamdulillah, it's just after that trip, alhamdulillah has a different resonance um, for, for certain things. I, I'm definitely better for it. It's given me a lot to think about in the way that I process life. And and just this, this um, validation from the men um, for us, not just men in our life, but men validating, you know, um, women's strength and all of this. And, you know, that means a lot. Um, that means a lot to us because we constantly hear all of the things that we can't do. Um, and, and sometimes we are um, conformed to certain things that we want to explore, but we may not be able to explore based on you know, our gender or our whatever is going on with us. So it just, the acknowledgement means a lot. When you infinity hike, no matter how difficult it is, all the, uh, everything goes away and the sense of accomplishment takes over everything and you feel so, so happy, so think that you forget all, all the hardship. When women prepare for something, they prepare themselves far better than men. Men thinks that if she can do it, uh, I can do it just fine. But definitely I can do it. That's what he, in his imagination might be. That's not our men has a superiority complex. By uh, default, we think we are physically more superior and we think we don't have to work that hard. I feel a lot of stereotypes that I might have about uh, the courage and strength of women versus men. Uh, they were all changed. Um, it was very interesting to see how men and women dealt with uh, the same life um, circumstances and challenging situations and uh, I would say both dealt in a very like good and strong manner and uh, I personally came out from this trip maybe a more content person and uh, I start to be more wise about consumption of water and food and uh, things in general. And, uh, I learned that we shouldn't take things that we have for granted, like the comfort of the house, our bed, uh, all the things that we have at home. I also thought if there would be like five men and five women for sure, women would be the ones who would be struggling more with carrying this weight and walking that long distance. But I saw the opposite things, subhanAllah, and I was like mesmerized like how strong women can be. And uh, especially in the Muslim community, like for some reason women in hijab is stereotyped that she is not fit enough, that she is not strong enough and she might not be into things like camping 10 miles a day with a 20 pound backpack but it just showed me amazing things what both men and women can do. It, it, took, a lot, it took a lot on me and it, it showed me that I have that resilience and you know getting back home and just settling and realizing what had what we just had all gone through and what could have gone wrong and what alhamdulillah didn't go wrong was just like really it really sunk in and you know i appreciate the whole experience and we all got through this as as a group solid you know we we, we see the flaws we know we know what we need to individually polish up on um, i think the core thing is a great idea I, I would i would recommend it all the time it's probably it was an, an analogy for life really to me and that 
you know, we're faced with a lot of difficulties in our lives and, and everyone has their own test and their own difficulties. And oftentimes we think that it's more than we can handle and that we're not going to make it out. And Allah never disappoints us or never leaves us without our sustenance or what we need to get through. Uh, so I think this trip was a great analogy for that life lesson of, you know, even the most difficult times, uh, we, we may think that we have encountered something that we cannot bear or tolerate, but through Allah's grace, we make it through. It helped me kind of reframe some of the challenges that I'm facing in my personal life. We worked really well together as men and women to just accomplish the tasks that are necessary to accomplish to get through the trip. The men tended to be the fire takers or the, the ones that helped to create the fire and sustain the fire. And it seemed like the women were the ones who were the providers of the water that did the filtering and the making sure everyone had enough water. And, but it's really interesting to see that we have innate differences in our um, in our, uh, our beings, uh, men versus women, in terms of how we care for our flock, and that uh, those only are complementary rather than contradictory. We already know that you're amazing, but isn't it time that you inspired yourself? Dustin Tribe where the wilderness teaches and we grow through adventure.